Hi guys, welcome to Pen Pals. My name is Leah and my friend's name is Grace, but she lives in Maine. So throughout this video, we are going to be switching between like whoever's talking. So our very first video is going to be the what's in my pencil case video. And I will be starting. So my pencil case is an Angu pencil case that I found on Amazon. It has three compartments and on the front it says you special, you are one of a kind. So now my friend Grace will be doing the little overview of her. Hi everybody, um, thank you, Leah. We'll come back to you later and see more about your pencil case um, and see what markers your go-tos are. Um, this is, I'm Grace, this is my pencil case. Um, <clears throat> basically how it works is I can go like this, pull it down, and it can stand while I'm working and drawing in my bullet journal, which I will show in another video. Um, but I really like this pencil case. Um, I got it from Target, I think, for about $4. Um, but it's great when you're working and you can just stand there and grab your go-to pens and my monthly pens, which I also keep in here. Um, so, I, for this month, I decided to use some brush tip and regular marker tips with a dual ended. Uh, zebra mild liners, and then I also am using these Crayola Super Tips. So, for the mild liners, I am using this smoke blue color. So, it does have the marker end and the brush end, which I really like. I think that's very helpful. Um, and then, so this color is just this color is smoke blue. And I really like it. It's great for my theme, which maybe I will show next time. Maybe you guys leave in the comments, take a guess at what both mine and Leah's bullet journal monthly spread is for April. What do you think the theme is? So I'm using this regular gray and this smoke blue for my liners. Um, then I'm using these two greens, which were actually for the month of March. These are for the month of March, but I'm still using them for my habit trackers and mood trackers. Um, it was a dark gray and, I mean, a dark green and a light green. Um, then for the other ones, I have a light gray, a dark gray, and a cloudy, smoky colored blue, kind of like the mild liner blue. So yeah, those are, the blues and the grays are my monthly pens for April. So you can guess what it is for April. These two are ones from March that I'm still using. Um, my, I'll show you my favorite, favorite pens first. Um, so these are the Tombow Fudenosuke ones, the hard tip and the soft tip. The darker greenish blackish one is the soft tip and the blue one, this one, is the hard tip. They are <clears throat> both calligraphy pens um, with a really nice brush tip at the end. So, yeah. Those are probably my all-time favorites that I use all the time in all my bullet journal spreads. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I also love using these Uniball pens. I have, this is the Uniball Signal Broad in gold. And I also actually have a Uniball Signal in white. Um, but for my white pens, I'll show you what I use for normally for my white pens. Then I have a Uniball Gel Impact, which is silver. And then, which I actually do use a lot too, what I use for my white pens though, is this 08 size Jelly Roll, which you can find at Sakura of America, because um, these are Sakura's, <clears throat> and I will show you something else that is Sakura's after this. I have this, and then I also have the Glitter Gold, and if you go to our Instagram, which is pen underscore pals underscore 05, you <clears throat> will see on our first Instagram post, um, it was a picture of their latest Moonlight Jelly Rolls, which I actually have a 10 pack of they are great total recommend show up on everything now <clears throat> our other sacras sacra pigma microns i love these these are great for line art and just fine liners in general i have the i have more but these are just the ones i use most often i have the 05 the brush the 08 and the 005 for our thicknesses um then we have 
These I love. I have more of these, but the black and the gray I use most often. The Le Pen Flex pens. Yeah. Then my last one, of course, a trusty pencil. I do have erasers. This one particularly doesn't have an eraser, but it is a 4-H pencil, meaning it is very, very hard and makes really thin, light lines, which is great for bullet journaling if you need to erase. Yeah, so now we're going to turn it back over to <clears throat> Leah to see the rest of her pens. Thank you guys. Bye. Hello again. Um, right now I'm going to be showing you what is in my pencil case. So in the first compartment, it just opens with a zip. And in the first compartment, there are four little pen slots so that you can keep your like most frequently used pens in there. So what I keep in my most frequently used is my dark gray zebra mild liner because it's one of my April monthly colors. My normal gray zebra mild liner, also one of my monthly colors. And then the last one of my monthly colors is this smoke blue zebra mild liner. So the other pens I have in here is just the Uniball Signo, which I use for writing in my bullet journal. And then I also have a Papermate Inkjoy gel pen just for like writing notes and stuff for class. Um, the Tombow Fudenowski hard tip. A a Papermate pencil. And lastly the um, Sakura Pigma Micron in 05 thickness. Okay, then in my next pocket I have a Tombow dual brush pen, which is dark blue in its color 476. I have the Sakura Pigma Micron in 0.8. The Pentel Energel in 05. A Bic Whiteout pen. Another Tombow Dual Brush pen. This one's just black. The Green Zebra Mild Liner. A like lavender colored Zebra Mild Liner. A uh, Tombow Jewel brush pen, it's like mint green in its color 245, I think. Next is another Tombow Jewel brush pen in color 291, and it looks blue, but it comes out as teal. And then after that, we have another Tombow Jewel brush pen, and it's like dark bluish. It's color 452. A teal zebra mild liner. A bunch of different Papermate Ink Joys. The Sakura Pigma Micron in the 03 thickness. And then I do not have anything in this last compartment because it's for like little erasers and stuff. Um, I don't have any little erasers and stuff, but I think I'm going to order some, so. Okay, thanks Leah. Um, we do have some pretty similar stuff in our pencil case. Um, anyways, again, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button and turn on, and hit the gray bell to turn on the channel's post notifications so you get notified every time we post a new video. Um, yeah, also comment down below what video, what more videos you would like to see, so. Thank you. Bye.